Deion Sanders recently bought Brittany Renner to Jackson State University to his team. And I want to talk about what I saw. What I saw was really sad. And there's something that I'm starting to notice. If Brittany Rayner and a lot of women like her, if they wanted to be like the female version of the rapper Future, who I think is sitting at 15 or 16 baby mamas right now, I think she could. As long as the baby mamas was, as long as the baby daddies were black. And what this shows is the sad, sorry, pitiful condition of black men. And it's evidence of what I call the matriarchal gynocracy that black men are bought up under. If you think about what the world generally tends to say about Middle Eastern women, and I'll just use Middle Eastern women as an example, or sometimes Taiwanese women who are infamously uh, sex traded or uh, trafficked. Uh, but particular when it comes to Middle Eastern women, people allege that with Arab culture, that it doesn't educate uh, its women, that uh, human rights organizations allege that uh, Saudi Arabia and other Arab countries don't do anything at all to educate their female population. And what winds up happening is that socially, these women end up being at a major disadvantage. Um, they can't read. They can't uh, buy things for themselves. They can't spend money. They can't they can't perform socially. Basically, not educating and not bringing somebody on par with you, the men, in this particular case of Saudi Arabia, it's pretty much leaving the women dumb. You, 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 you pretty much, the women are dumb and they're easily, they're easy to control. They're easy to rule over. They're easier to, uh, for men to essentially have their way. And hell, culturally, you know, no sense of empowerment is ever really gonna rise among women that are educated now, I mean, uh, none educated. Now, the reason why I point that out is because in this country, black women allegedly are the most educated slash enrolled women in college. But yet there's nothing you have to keep in mind that the average Negro that you see on the evening news shot dead or either he done shot somebody and he's pretty much headed upstate for the rest of his life is being raised by women who are geographically or uh, uh, demographically the most educated women. Now, I would argue that many of these guys are probably not necessarily coming from women with degrees, but in the community overall within the same racial group, this educated group of women are not passing off these skills, nor any of this education to their male sons. Now, in case I'm wrong, there was one report that I did read in which it said that for three years, and I think that was from 2016 up to 2019, and they're gonna have to do more updates on the research that actually black boys became the number one graduate graduating um, group of children out of high school. Black boys led in high school graduation. So I'll have to look that over again to make sure that, you know, my eyes didn't deceive me because I was saying to myself that there's no way in the world that these women can have this education. And yet, if this is not in any shape or way showing up in the boys, the degree to which black boys are being made deliberately dumb is pretty much comparable to what you have in Saudi Arabia or Thailand. 
their women view it as advantageous in the gynocr in the gynocracy of the matriarchy. And let me tell you why females will consider what I'm telling you right now to be hate speech or hatred against women because it's revealing it. You know, it's kind of like a. You know, a white or, you know, let's just say some group of people move into the ghetto and they open up a um, payday loan place and they're sitting up there robbing people with 500 interest, 500 percent interest payday loans. When you expose to the ignorant population that, you know, these people are robbing you. The people who are robbing the ignorant, low income, uneducated people, they're going to accuse you of hate and they're going to accuse you of some of everything because you fucking up their bags. And what black women have is a man who's a perfect idiot. Let me go over the things that black men don't have. And these are things that are rigid um, cultural lines that other men keep their women in. Now I could go over several things, but I'll discuss about three to five different things. And there's something that I will sometimes notice in group chats when black, when dudes are better yet, when a lot of non black females are talking to black men, they, they are often sticking their, uh, toe, if you will, into the, uh, they're sticking their toe into the water to 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 test things out before they dive in. Um, black men, for example, don't have no vaginal standard. In other words, most black men don't really care how many women or how many dudes that a woman has actually slept with. They really don't care. Um, Black females psychologically have brain whipped black men culturally. This is why I've heard black men talking about, man, she got a big fat monkey, a big fat monkey. You know, there's a southern um, blues song called Make That Monkey Talk. Monkey is, is, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with racism. It's a pet word for pussy or vagina. Um, a big, big fat monkey. Now, the worldwide patriarchal standard of the preferred female sexually is young, innocent, and virginic, meaning that she doesn't have too many sex partners or, or she doesn't have any, really, if she's virginic. But listen to black men. Damn, dog, she got a big fat monkey on her. That right there is just clear evidence that you're brain whipped. The exact standard of one man or every other group of men is the total opposite of you. I don't think that's accidental. <laughs> I do not think that's accidental. I just don't. It doesn't seem accidental to me that you could actually be that particular way. Somebody got to be in your head making you deliberately the opposite of what every other man is. So black men don't have no vaginal standards. What, 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 what does this mean? This means this is exactly why you saw the situation with Brittany Renner. What did she do? Even when it came to fooling around with multi-million dollar black men, and you see the same thing with Lil Wayne, Nipsey Hussle, and if I'm not mistaken, Lauren London got a baby by Puff Daddy. Nipsey Hussle and Lil Wayne. Hold on. Does Lauren London, uh, I don't feel like Googling right now, you know, because I don't want to lose my train of thought. So forgive me because I, I know Puffy got a baby by Kim Porter and she's a fine ass model. Right. But uh, I was I think she passed or something. Didn't something happen to Kim Porter? But um, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, because I don't want to be inaccurate. I don't want to be inaccurate, man. But I think Lauren London, and, and I want to Google it so bad. Hold on. Just just give me a second. I'm going to pause the video for a quick second. Okay, I'm back. I had to look it up. I had to look it up. Okay. Um, After Nipsey Hussle was killed, she was dating Diddy. She was dating him. But she does have a baby by Nipsey Hussle and Lil Wayne. And like I said, you don't see that. You don't see that among white dudes. You don't see two 
multi-million dollar white athletes with the same baby mama. That shows you the how black men are raised. So black men don't have no vaginal standards. Number two, black men buy into fakeness big time. The average black woman in America, when, when she gets dolled up, don't look no different than a drag queen. Uh, a lot of the looks and the, uh, you know, the outfits that, that, that they put on whenever they go out and about, they, uh, are pretty much comparable to drag queens. Okay. So a devil, so here's the thing that's really bad. And this is why I have to do videos like this. I've seen drag queens. All on Instagram, and this is not even anything uh, hidden. This is pretty much out in the open. Because if you got 50, 100, 200,000 followers, you're not some concealed ass person. You got a public profile. You, you have followers. You can hit the follower button and look and see who's following certain people. I will see, for example, I'm going to name a person. Speaking of trannies, Lady Tarzan fit or nature booty. That would be the name of, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do a split photo. I'm going to put old girl on one side because this is anti light skin girl because I can already see where, where this is headed. Okay. So, you know, black men have to date women that dress up like trannies. So trannies, transsexuals can literally take advantage of black men. I see it all the damn time. I see dudes online thirsting after a very passable tranny who just did a really good job with their makeup. Literally thirsting, begging, desperate. Putting hundreds of emojis, hundreds of comments behind a single damn photo of a of a passable light skinned tranny like like the one you're looking at. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put Brittany Rayner on one side and the person that you're looking at in, in this thumbnail is a tranny by the name of Lady Tarzan Fit, Nature Booty. You can go and investigate her comment section over on Instagram if you want to. There ain't nothing but a bunch of black men over there. And this is why I got to call this shit out. Because what the black man is, I'm going to tell you what black men are. And I'm going to put this in the title. And I know you've probably been looking at it, laughing at it. Simpenstein. He's a created simp. Because when Brittany Renner, going back to Brittany Renner real quick, and I'm going to go over these characteristics. I'm going to keep on with these characteristics about black men, what women are taking advantage of. But at that situation where Deion Sanders bought in Brittany Renner, he immediately joked when it, when Brittany Renner started talking, she gave the Jackson State football players, and Jackson State is a um, HBCU, historically black college and university. She gave them her Instagram. She said who she was on IG. Deion Sanders immediately pointed out to a handful of his players, you ain't took no notes all year, but all of a sudden I see you with a pen now writing. And, you know, everybody laughed about it and had a joke about it, but that shows you black men. Here you are playing a sport where you could end up making a million dollars if, if you really dedicated to it, but the only thing that you viewed as important was taking down a two-time baby mama's Instagram account just because she's mixed race or light skinned. Look, black men are the only ones that go around talking about the black woman is God and now that shit has went over to biracial women and to me it's disgusting. It, 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 you know, it's the same type of simpism and just the same type of weak man dick in a bootyism that you pretty much get out of the black woman is God hotep niggas. It's just female worship and it's repulsive to me, man. The shit is gross. Like, dude, you, you are such a weak ass race of just pathetic losers, dude. Because you could take that same female, Brittany Renner, and I bet you that you could take that female to goddamn Notre Dame, 
to the Notre Dame locker room and I'm a, and I'm gonna give you just a little bit of knowledge. Imagine Taylor Swift. Just imagine her face, right? And I want you to take her face if you can and convert it to Amber Rose's face. Taylor Swift, Amber Rose. Think about it. You remove the long hair. You, you begin to slightly darken the eyes. You make the hair just a little bit more coarse. You make the skin slightly dark, not really dark, but more yellowish, like a yellowish white. And then you take all that long hair and just reduce it down to this short Jada Pinkett set it off. I mean, this really short little man look to the average white dude. Amber Rose looks like a fucking she looks like somebody who should uh, uh, a dyke who should be on a fucking motorcycle with the hell's angels are. You know, like a Harley or something, like with with one of them with one of them uh leather hats on. She looks like a, a big ass masculine dyke, but black men will just exalt her and just worship at her personal altar and just you know what I'm saying, like lift her up and pedestalize her. Give me a break. You could take that same Britney Renner. And all that falling out and passing out. As a matter of fact, these black men that that were at Jackson State, the HBCU, like you're the football player. You're the one who could be going to the NFL. You're the one who's going to graduate with a damn degree. Your skills have got it to where you get an education for free. And you the one that reduces yourself down to a lowly little peasant type dude underneath a damn woman just because she's mixed. And I'm sitting up here looking at her and I'm thinking to myself, she's got a nice, she's got a semi nice butt. But I'm going to tell it to you like this. I can look at her butt and tell she wear a certain set of panties that lift it up and, and, and make it more round. She's not just super fine like that. You know, I give her a high eight. I give her a high eight. She, she, in, in my book, biracial women have a different standard. You know, you can't see what most dudes do is that they will rate a biracial woman in comparison to a black woman, but not just as she is by herself. And see, there's a reason as to why with a lot of biracial movements, there's a reason why they stay concentrating on black women so much, because they know that she's the woman, just like I described Amber Rose as an ugly fied version of Taylor Smith Swift. They know that they are the women underneath white women so they ain't gonna mention anything they'll talk about what a black man did and see let me get back to something let me get back to something okay i'm gonna name the third characteristic of black men because i don't want to get carried off and i'm and and you know the third one of the three characteristics of black men that make them the perfect sims you know it's the fact that he he's also you fight over pussy you fight over pussy and when you fight over pussy it gives women all the control and all the power because black men are socially if women like in mexico the age of consent is 12 because there's such a cultural training there's such a cultural bond or attachment that Mexicans specifically have for each other, it's hard to literally keep them off each other as children. You 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 have to legalize them fooling around and 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 just let them start making their little families at 15, 16, 17 years old. That's what you call having a true, highly evolved bond with each other. See, the thing of it is, most motherfuckers don't know dating is completely inferior. That means that everybody is just existing at random and we're just going to go about and just pick and select a, a partners from time to time. Well, I guess I'll give you the time of day. I'll try to give you a little time to day to day. 
uh, 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 a little time. Let's let's go out and do this little experimental thing for a few months. See if we like each other. You can't build no civilization like that. A people cannot build themselves up and become nothing like that. The superior races of people have a natural draw. They have a natural pull toward each other. They are typically coupled with child at the latest by 22 or 23 years old. Even if it doesn't work out in older age and they get a divorce, they raise their children to carry on their cultural legacy. And then they split up, but but they take care of business for 15 to 20 years first. And then they go ahead and go out there and, and start doing their thing, <laughs> you know, get them a younger woman, you know, white man, a Mexican dude, get him a younger woman or something. But uh, yeah, man, what that does is that not having a culture of women who really are drawn to you in a way because this is something that you'll notice and I hear this from black men that go to third world countries the passport brothers they always talk about how they'll see a pretty ass sexy exotic woman and she's got this old dirty man with a nasty with a raggedy car and a toe up shirt but she's loyally committed to him that's because they don't have materialistic attachment to each other they haven't been told that the man needs to go out and acquire a bunch of shiny things and that's what gives him his value no he's valuable as the man that he is and that dirty car and them tore up clothes are symbolic of the sacrifices that he's out there doing for his woman but see a black man can be a security guard or amazon warehouse worker and he's mocked for it everybody and see they will gather around on only fans strip clubs and lay up under what whichever negroes got some money to get that money you know what i'm saying if he's a $25 an hour security guard, or if he's the manager or team leader at the Amazon warehouse, they'll lay up under you to get that money, but then mock the job. So black men don't have anything that they, you're not bought up in a culture in which your women are highly, have a highly evolved attachment to you. No, you just as, she'll call you a nigga just like a racist white man is. As a matter of fact, she calls you so completely the same thing that the racist white man calls you that that has literally become your name. And if, if you attempt to give yourself any name that you got out of pride, are, are, are because you evolved a high view or a high opinion of yourself, it never really sticks. But she'll call you a naker. I mean, if a white man calls you a nigger, she'll call you a nigger so, so much until you literally repeat it to where it almost sounds abnormal for me to consciously point out to you that you're calling yourself something abnormal and degrading. And if I were to give you something positive to call yourself, you would look at me even more abnormally. And then culturally, it would never even stick. Huh? Culturally, it would never even stick. You wouldn't even hold on to it. It'll be a temporary hashtag and then it'll fade away and you'll go back to being a nigger. And then when a white woman calls you a naker, then that 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 will stick and then she'll attach that to you. That's the type of cultural sucker, a low self-esteem dabble dabble dog that you've been made into. You're a dabble dog. And when I look at these so-called exotic women, I be looking at brothers who be having pages that be exalting these women, that be putting these women on page uh, uh, on a pedestal. Bruh, they're not re uh, reciprocating the uh, the energy that you're giving them. It's not happening. And you even have a YouTuber. I ain't going to say his name. He sits up there exalting light skinned women all the time and every damn page of women that he sits up there exalting <laughs> they don't do nothing but diss him in return and I'm going to tell you what dark skinned mothers do as to the reason why dark skinned males have this attraction to other women the dark skinned male is the most throwed away dude and he know he's throwed away the average dark skinned boy knows consciously at 3 or 4 years old he's unloved and throwed away he already knows it 
That's why other races and other groups of women, they know which Negroes to go to. I've seen it. I've seen black men who are more attractive, who had more money. But I've seen a little sh- a little black motherfucker end up getting the hoes. Uh, he end up getting the biracial girl. And I'm going to tell you why. She knows that thirst is there. She she knows that abandonment energy is there. Even though one dude might look better and have more money, she's not going to be able to access that money the the way she is with Lil Black. Lil Black might make $30,000 a year, but she's got access to 70% of that. Whereas another dude might make fifty, sixty thousand, but shit, he ain't giving her a dime, cause, cause, cause he ain't putting her on no pedestal. He'll take her shopping and he will swipe the card. <laughs> she ain't getting no, she ain't getting no card that, hey baby, just, just make it do what it do. I got a hundred dollars in the overdraft. <laughs> It's ten thousand on there, and if and if you go in the overdraft, that's fine with me, baby. Just let me know. You know that's the dark skin dude, and women are taking advantage of this. And Brittany Renner is just one of the many women, mixed race women. And what's gonna happen? And I already see the bad moon on the rise. This is why I'm calling it out early, cause I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. The exact same type of disdain and hatred. That black men show for black women because of their poor motherly skills and they specifically raise black women in this gynocric uh, gynocracy, this matriarchy. And another thing, too, a whole bunch of these mixed race girl pages that exist, these pages originate from Chrissy, uh, Cynthia G and Paris Milan. The only reason the only reason that. Uh. They're not completely. The only reason they broke off is because those women complain about light skinned women. Other than that, these pages, uh, multiracial movement, uh, which is by, which was started by a biracial female and, uh, exotical united, all those are the same as Cynthia G. The female exotical united, she's the same personality wise as Cynthia G. I'm not gonna get to talking about her, but personality wise, she's, uh, she's the same as Cynthia G. She's a total hypocrite. And the only thing that she does, black men are so naively retarded. I'm sitting up here just listening to her. She, she's literally sitting up there attempting to try to get fights started. She's doing nothing but trolling. But black men be so obsessed and so goo-goo-eyed at some damn mixed woman that she can sit up there calling you a Negro monkey subhuman ape. And this nigga will just sit up there like he's in a psychedelic 7G uh, 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 hallucinatory mushroom trip just to, oh, you so pretty, so light bright. You'll be a little black fucking nigger monkey. Give me your money. Oh, light bright. You so pretty. I mean, this is this is what it literally is. And she might not call you a stankin' ass, nothing ass nigger monkey to your face, but trust me, it's right under the surface. Because often the standards that women hold peep men to uh, is really what she's telling you. This is what it's going to cost for a stankin' ass black motherfucker like you to fuck with me. But most black men are so delusional, they don't really interpret it that way. That chick ain't really uh, going to have nothing to do with you outside of you paying her. And I wouldn't be surprised in the, in the long run if she wound up marrying a white dude. But if she wanted to, and that's Miss Brittany Renner, she could be the damn black uh, or, or, or she could be the half white uh, future. The mulatto girl version of future. That female could probably find her five, anywhere from five to ten. She would have to just make herself stop. Getting pregnant by million dollar dudes. I bet you, and I wouldn't be surprised if she went out there and did it again. I literally wouldn't be surprised if, 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 if she went out there and did it again. I wouldn't be surprised at all. You know, and if you look at the baby with Danny Lay, 
you know, she's actually white. And, but but I'm going to tell it to you like this. And I wish I hadn't have bought up the baby. I really do wish that dudes would go back to just dating like rich dudes. I wish they'd go back to dating white women. Because here's why. White women don't have no public, social, open conversation circles or connections with black women like that. But all this stuff that y'all are doing with biracial women, man, look, she's going back to damn white women and, 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 uh, black women. And man, these women are just laughing they ass off at you dudes, man. They're just laughing. Literally, they're just laughing they asses off, bro. These women are just so completely making fun of you, talking about how big of a clown you are. And what's going to happen over time is that she's going to develop the same disdains. That's what black women are going to do as to the reason why black women don't let them just exist as mixed women. Black women want to draw them into the black woman cultural mindset. That way it will neutralize the preference. And that's what's happening with a lot of biracial women who are friends and allies with black women. I say this right here. If you fooling around with a biracial woman who's a friend and an ally to a black woman, you might as well just be with a black woman. The only thing you're going to have is a yellow skin or a beige child. That's it. Other than that, your relationship with her is going to be 100% the same as with a black woman, man. But I'm going to go ahead and shut this video down. This shit is pathetic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call this shit out early in the game. Black men are simping to biracial women and they're not getting anything in, in return. As a matter of fact, you're getting just the opposite. And keep in mind, a lot of women that are on Chrissy page, Karazine page, there are just as many of these mixed women and white women who are with this pink peel divestment shit as everyday black girls y'all just doing this exaltation of them man but i'm gonna straight up tell you it's not really uh deserved and you're getting nothing in return you're not getting the same energy in return man it's your boy shadow man bruh i'm out